Hello there review watching people. Today I'm going to review two items in the one video and uh, the reason that is is I'd, I'd like to show you a comparison between uh, a real cheap product uh, that you know serves its purpose versus something a little bit more tangible. There is the cheap stand for your mobile phone or tablet. It actually says you can use a tablet on this. And here's something that's a little bit more expensive. You can buy both of these on Amazon um, or eBay. You can find the links below in the uh, video description. The reason I bought these, I have a couple of devices that um, I would like to have on a stand. And I'll just show you quickly why. This is my Nexus 7 here. I have reviewed this stand here, which I really like. Okay, however, it still does not go in the portrait mode. You can't have <clears throat> the Nexus doesn't sit in portrait with this stand. It does quite well in landscape, but I really do want it in portrait. So, yet to find a case. So I bought this. Not very expensive. Definitely sits this way. No worries. And surprisingly. It even works standing up. Um, now this is as large of a tablet that I think it will hold. I don't think it's going to hold an iPad. It's going to tip a little bit too far back or it will be very unstable. When you use it in this mode, okay, it bounces around. So while it is quite good, it does have a little bit of bounce uh, when, you, when, you use, when you're using your tablet. So but it does hold it, very good. Typically what it ends up holding is my little phone, this is my work phone, so it holds the work phone quite nicely, like my, my little iPhone 4, um, 4S I think this one is, uh, holds it very nicely, and it's just the right size, makes it nice. Now you can see that it was quite bouncy when the tablet was sitting on there, so I'm going to show you the other one and what the difference is. There it is there. Slightly larger one. Again, you can find the link below to, to buy one. It's very compact. It comes like this. Nice and small. You can throw it, definitely throw it into your um, bag if you are looking to be mobile. It uh, folds up nicely. So you basically fold the bottom out. It has a nice, thick, deep, um, deep uh, tray there to Fit most of your devices, and if you and this is what I really like. If you have a case, uh, you know a lot of them don't fit. A lot of the stands don't allow for the case, but uh, this one does. At the back, it's intricate looking, but it's very simple. You just kind of put slots in there. It goes up like that. There you go, and then your tablet can sit down on in there very nicely. So this is my Nexus 7 with the with, it, with its case on. You can see how it's plenty of space in there to, to hold your device. You can then change the height of this one, which is another little bonus. You can go down to a lower, lower one. And I think that's the one that kind of works nicely when you're sitting just at your table looking at your tablet. What you get with this one is this extra width at the back. And looking at the back, that's the width that you get with your little cheapy. Whereas with something a little bit more, a couple more dollars, you get a nice wide back. When you put the tablet on this one, okay, it's much firmer. Whereas on this one, okay, you get the wobble. Um, this one, I think, definitely more for a small phone. If you have a four-inch uh, screen phone, great to just hold it up like that. Whereas if you're wanting to use a larger phone, like a Note 2 or a Note 3 or um, or a tablet up to 7-inch, this is the product for you. So here's an iPad with quite a substantial case on it. It's a Griffin, a Griffin case uh, for mm -hmm, used by my kids, so definitely needed a massive case. Does this thing hold it? Here's the stand. You can tell, you can see that even that holds it. That gets a little bit wobbly, but still quite good. Very good, this is the back. So it holds it to that height quite nicely. 
Just a little note, on this stand here, it has a couple of little rubber rings to uh, protect your table. And so just to wrap up, both of these serve their purpose. If you do have the extra money, I would definitely spend a couple of extra bucks on, on, on this product here. This stand gets a lot more of use than this one. And uh, the main reason being that this one holds the tablet nice and firm, whereas this one is only for mobile phones.